this tutorial we will write a java program to make a simple calculator using switch case so uh, i have already created a, a scanner object called reader uh, we will take two numbers from user enter enter number one user will enter number one we'll store in let's we store into a double variable called num1 equals to uh, reader dot next double and we do same for um, num2 as well we want to take two variables num1 and num2 reader dot next double okay and then uh, we want to take uh, enter operator we want users to enter operator from plus minus um, multiplication let's put this sign for multiplication and division so we want user to enter any of these signs and we want to because this will be a single character so we create a character variable called operator and we store it we read it by reader dot next dot character at zero so this will pick uh, the one character and then uh, we uh, start our switch case where we pass the operator and we create cases so if the case where there is plus sign then we say um, let, let, let's create a double size uh, result variable and right over here we say result equals to num1 plus num2 and break and if there is an other case where there is negative sign we say result equals to num1 minus num2 okay we break it and a case where there is multiplication sign we say result equals to num1 multiplied by num2 and we break it okay we break it and then we have our case 4 where there is a division sign we calculate our result as something like this num1 divided by num2 and we break it and uh, let's uh, also add a default where if any of these or uh, uh, these operations are not entered by users then we want to print uh, we want to basically print uh, um we say something like uh, sorry uh, operator is not is incorrect okay and we uh, call the return to end it okay and after outside of this switch if everything goes perfect we print num1 plus and we um, basically put one space and then operator the operator sign and then we space another space we put another space and then we put um, num2 and then we put equals to equals to then we put our result so far i think this should work perfectly fine so let's run and see so we have got an error right over here okay so the o is capital while my actually operator has o smaller yeah now this works so let's enter number one 10 20 yeah operator i want to enter plus first there you go 10 plus 20 equals to 30 which is perfect i want to say 20 minus 10 let's see minus and i have 20 minus 10 10 which is also correct and then 
I have 25, 4, and I want multiplication. And I have 25 multiplied by 4 equals to 100, which is also correct. And now I want 100 and 25, and I want I want division. And there you go. 100 divided by 25 equals to 4. So our program is correct. Now let me walk you through the code. Uh, we have created a scanner object called reader by using new keyword scanner. We have passed system dot in to take input from keyboard, and then we have given the message to the user to enter number one. And we are uh, reading it by reader dot next double and storing into a double variable called number one. We are giving another message to the user to enter number two. We are reading it by reader dot next double. And we are storing it into a double variable called num2 and then we are taking a operator we are giving a user to enter any operator out of these four and we are taking the as a character by reader dot next dot character at zero from zero index we are taking just one character entered at first and storing into an operator variable that is a character variable so it will have only just one character then we have created a double result variable in which we will be storing our result based on the operator and then we have started a switch and we have passed our operator and then we have four cases for each operator plus minus multiplication and division for plus we add numbers for minus we are subtracting for division uh, for multiplication we are multiplying for division we are um, dividing and finally we have a default as well in this case if any of these cases do not match this runs by default and it prints that sorry your operator is incorrect and finally once the switch is done we outside the switch print that the number one and operator number two equals to result so let's run again and enter some invalid operator and see what result is a lie. So I have 12, I have 4 and I enter a question mark. So it prints, sorry, operator is incorrect because operator is not right. So none of these cases matched and default ran and it printed that, sorry, operator is incorrect. So uh, that's it with this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe my YouTube channel and I'll see you in next tutorial with a new program.